a potato egg and cheese a breakfast taco and a side of skillet potatoes potato egg and cheese and a side of potatoes that'll be all that'll be all thank you thank you hello and welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is jp i'm your new homegirl you just don't know it yet hey <laughs> and if you're returning welcome back today is monday may the 22nd happy monday <laughs> And I don't know why, but I feel like my seat is too far back. Anywho, it is 7.56. I stopped to get some breakfast and then I'll be on my way to work. Uh, I have made some pretty good timing thus far. I'm not that far from work, so to God be the glory for that. How was you guys this weekend? Leave me some comments down below letting me know what you did because I care. My weekend was pretty chill. I pretty much had you guys with me um as i did the few activities that i did do this weekend i am really really excited about the play that we recorded for church on saturday and i cannot wait to share it with you guys i'm sure it is going to be funny it is going to be educational and it's going to be a splash of ghetto and who wouldn't love to see that i know i for one am really really excited um this week at work um I'm anticipating that I will get payroll because it is the 22nd. So I will likely get it sometime this week, probably earlier in the week uh, versus the latter part of the week because Monday, this upcoming Monday, which is Memorial Day, we are out of the office. The office will be closed. That means sis will have a extra long weekend and to God be the glory for that. Um, so good news all the way around. It's going to be a very productive and busy week. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can I get some ketchup, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have, have a good, good one. one. You too. I am on lunch. <sighs> happy to be outside. Well, I mean, I'm in my car, but happy to be outside of work. I did have an opportunity to get some fresh air, so praise the Lord for that. Pardon me as I get all of my Tupperware containers together so that I can assemble my taco salad because, yes, I learned my lesson from last time and didn't put it all in one um one bowl because my darn chips were soggy and the flavors were there but i just couldn't properly enjoy it like <clears throat> i would if it were you know freshly assembled or whatever so definitely took notes from the last time so i have my lettuce and my cheese here my chips here sis so gonna have hella doggone uh dishes to <laughs> doggone dishes to clean when she get home because i also packed husband's um lunch the same exact way i have my meat here you might be able to see a little bit of the steam i'm just pouring it over my chips yes father mm, mm -hmm. that look good already bon appetit mm, mm -hmm. mm. that is so freaking good yes to it being hot mm -hmm. i am good and full before i put my tupperwares away <laughs> i wanted to show y'all how i completely <laughs> y'all this was so good this was so freaking good and i can probably be satisfied eating it again tonight but then tomorrow we're gonna have to find something else uh to eat but man shout out to me for making this taco meat stretch the way that i did but anywho i'll pick you guys up once i'm on my way to the crib let me put in a little yt work and listen to some music i'll see y'all later on good 
Good afternoon, you guys. It is 5:19, and you already know the vibes. Your girl is aggravated. I'm happy to be off, but I am so freaking aggravated. I'm not sure why I'm still dealing. I'm not sure why I'm having tire issues to begin with. Perhaps I should have got the cheapy tires because clearly spending money on on the tires that came with my vehicle is not really paying off for me at the current moment because I haven't even had my tires for two months and the light has come on for low tire pressure at least three times since I've had uh, my uh, tires and it's been the same tire you're not granted okay let me give a little quick little disclaimer I do understand that the tires are not everything proof right so I can pick up a nail I can get something in my tire and it is quite possible that by some strange chain of events I probably got a bad tire okay I'm not un unreasonable I understand those things can happen okay let's throw that out there however I took <laughs> took my car to the dealership sat up there for several hours knowing I wasn't tripping because I saw the light come on I saw the light come on to be told after several hours of being there, I think it was maybe like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, that there was nothing wrong with the tire. Like hell, like hell, and it's the same tire. So I, when I called up there today, I called before I picked you guys up because again, I got the alert as soon as I cut my car off. Um, I'm on the expressway now going home. I don't wanna take any chances being in the thicky thickness of traffic on the main freeway so I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow uh, so we're gonna go to work in the morning for a couple hours literally a couple hours and then we're gonna head to our doctor's appointment straight from work and what I was I'm praying that these people could get me in and out if they can get me in and out I might still try to swing to get my dentist um, appointment out of the way and then if not then I'll do it first thing Wednesday morning if they have it available um but yeah y'all that's just that's just what I'm currently dealing with with my car aside from that work was really good Good morning, fam. It is Tuesday, May the 23rd. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Man, my ponytail is so doggone tight. I was trying to create like a facelift situation because I'm exhausted and I just don't want to look like it. Okay, but on the inside, <laughs> I'm very, very exhausted. Um, I'm in route to work. It is currently 7.52 definitely not gonna make it there on time but I'm low-key trying to race to get there I got payroll around eight o'clock last night and um, y'all know I'm leaving early today for my appointments that I have uh, so that does not give me much time to get payroll done so sis don't hit the ground running okay I'm gonna stop give me a uh, I was about to say a Red Bull stop and get a Celsius because I'm not playing with Red Bull's calories that's the only reason why I wouldn't get a uh, Red Bull but baby if they came out with a locale option I'd probably be stuck no they would be stuck with me they would have a customer in me for freaking life if they came out with a locale option but anywho I digress so today is going to be super busy uh, while I'm at work and I'll probably leave the office like around 11 uh, because I need to be at the um, doctor's office by 11.15 y'all transparency moment i am so nervous to go to the doctor i always have been 
um, ever since I can remember. Sis has always had like several touches of white coat syndrome. And for those of you who do not know what white coat syndrome is, number one, I mean, I've heard that term all my life. I don't know if the people around me made it up or if it's a real thing, comment down below. Let me know if you ever heard of white coat syndrome. But anywho, um, it's like a slight phobia of anyone wearing a white coat more specifically um speaking in terms of like dentists and doctors that was me for many years um now it's just more so of like a, a nervousness around the doctor's office i'm okay now in the dentist office but baby it took time okay at my big old age i was in like my early 30s I had took my husband to the, to the dentist's office with me, honey, so he could hold my hand, okay? And I was up in there crying crocodile tears, okay? Very, very scared, very childish, very immature, okay? Very overgrown and big age in the dentist's office. I am proud to say that over the last maybe five, six, seven years, I have grown up and I can show up to the dentist's office by myself, okay? I've even taken y'all to the dentist. I'll put that vlog, uh, I'll put a thumbnail of the vlog up where I took you guys with me in the event you're interested. I'm cool, okay? I get nervous uh, sometimes when they're like in my mouth too long, you know, drilling and stuff like that, especially for like cleanings, but it's not to the point to where I spaz out, right? And then my experiences at the doctor's office, I never spaz out. I have not had an episode at a doctor's office the way that I have at a dentist's office, but it's just such a nervousness inside and it just like translates in my behavior because I'm usually, when I'm outside of work, super bubbly, talkative, you know, friendly, nice, radiating, you know what I mean? Positive energy and whatnot, but when I go to the doctor's office, I shut down. Like, I, I become almost like a scared kid. I do it, you know, I'm not in, I don't have like a debilitating fear where I just absolutely don't wanna go to the doctor's office, don't do it, because I do go, you know, for annual checkups and stuff like that. But man, just, ooh, I be a whole ball of nerves the entire time, the entire time. It's just the nervousness of it all. It's the unknownness of it all. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to make sure I didn't miss my turn. It's the unner it's the unknown and the nervousness of it all that really gets me each and every time. Every time. Every time. Every single time. I could be going there to pick up a dog on prescription and I still have like a touch of nervousness inside. And to be honest, going to the doctor is like my least favorite part of self care. Yeah. I'm just in the bus, sitting sideways, waiting to get the all the time. Time gets a ticking, then it takes a toll. Told you I couldn't really draw the line. Line ringing, saying that you told you things, things that you really kept inside. Sidetracking me when I was good to you. You were somebody I was stand behind. I knew <laughs> I'm back. It is 11:14. We are off of work. You all know the vibes. We're about to go to the doctor. It's 11:14. These people really asked me to be there at 11 15. I told y'all in other vlogs, I am your late friend. I don't do it on purpose. I, it's just, it always turned out that way. Even when I am intentional and I try to respect people's time, baby, it just. <laughs> It just comes across disrespectful, respectfully. Like, it just come across that way. And I don't really be trying to. But anywho, um, my appointment doesn't start until 1130. I'm probably going to be sitting there, honestly, until about 12 o'clock because that's just how doctors do, okay? Um, so I hopped on the expressway to make it there quicker because I don't want to run into any unexpected traffic on the freeway because then I'm for show for show gonna be very late at this point i'm on track to just show up at my scheduled time uh, which is 11 30 so to god be the glory for that i am still very nervous i'm even more nervous now because it's like it's here sis it is here um and i'm also hungry too i don't know 
know if they're gonna do blood work or anything like that on me it's been a hot little minute since i've been to the doctor so i can't remember all what they're going to do uh but if they are gonna draw blood child we might have to reschedule it for another day because when i got to work i didn't have time to get a red bull and then i wanted to snack because i told you i was hungry so i ate a few mustard pretzels um and i had like several sips of a coke i didn't even finish it and it wasn't until after i had down them pretzels okay and also drank the coke i was like "Ooh, should i have was i supposed to be fasting for blood work because i feel like the email that they sent me said that but um i couldn't remember and when i thought to go back and check out the uh the email i just got sidetracked speaking of emails i did get payroll i told y'all that i got it last night i finished it we're done we are done to god be the glory okay baby i was on hyper overdrive okay we was fastballing through that there, <laughs> through that there payroll and i'm done i i don't have any stragglers I don't have anything I am done. Um, there was a wire that needed to be revised, um, not because I messed up something, but because upper management missed something. They forgot to let me know that we were only paying a specific amount. amount. Um, so I changed it and resent it with literally like two minutes to spare before it was time for me to leave. I ended up leaving at 11 o'clock um, so that I could have time you know, to make it even though it's 11 17. Anywho, today was a very productive day. Technically, I'm off of work uh, for the remainder of the day. I took half day sick leave. Um, so I don't technically have to log in to work, but I did tell my manager that if something came across that was urgent concerning the wires, because I know that those are time sensitive, um, that I would periodically be checking my emails and that I would go ahead and do it. Um, so that way it's not just sitting you know, on her desk or sitting in my e in my inbox rather, waiting on me to do it tomorrow, that I would just go ahead and get it done. We're still on for our um, appointment at the tire shop. I'm hoping that I can finish up at the doctor's office, have enough time to go back to the house and change my clothes, get into something comfortable. Y'all know how I like to do tights, Nike shirt, tennis shoes, you know, just basic and um, switch my big old <laughs> bag lady bag to my spray ground backpack so that when I go to the dealership, I can be comfortable because even though I don't wanna spend my afternoon there, I feel like I'm gonna spend my afternoon there. But if it will result in them A, fixing my tire or B, just giving me a new tire altogether, I'll just suffer through, but I at least wanna be comfortable. This dress is uncomfortable, but I'm just saying, I'm all dressed up and whatnot. I would much rather dress down. Y'all know how I like to do in my free time. So that's what I'm hoping. Uh, but we'll just have to play it by ear because baby, when I step through the doors, okay, of my doctor's office, I am no longer on my time. I'm definitely on the empty time. I just wanted to check in with y'all, let you know what I was up to. I'll pick you guys up once I make it to the doctor's office. Doctor 
I also ordered uh, some labs to be done on me. So I finished up with the doctor, got my little note from the nurse, and they both told me to head downstairs and get my labs done, to get my labs done. And I was like, okay, cool. So I head downstairs, sit down, and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting some more. And, so, and before I knew it, I was watching folks that had just walked in, went to the front desk, sat down, and was being called before me. So after like the fourth person, I was like, excuse me, do you know when they're going to call and did I say my full name? I was like, cause I've been sitting here for a moment. And they were like, well, did you check in? And I said, no, cause the doctor and the nurse didn't tell me that I need to check in. They just told me go downstairs and that they had already sent the uh, blood work to the, la I mean the blood, order blood work order to the lab so all i had to do was just go down there and wait my name to be called and they're like oh no you gotta check in ain't nobody said it so at this point it's like 12 40. i had plans to go home change my clothes and head to the dealership so i'm aggravated right because somebody should have said something the doctor should have said something the nurse should have said something and the people that work in the lab area should have said something. They kept coming to the door, calling people, and I was literally, y'all, literally sitting right there by the door. None of y'all customer service switch flipped on and said, hey ma'am, I've noticed you've been sitting here for a little minute. Are you waiting on somebody or do you need a sit? Like, with nobody's antennas was up, none. So that aggravated me. Then I said to myself, okay, well, I, I'll just prepare to head straight to the dealership from uh, the doctor's office because I can't miss this appointment. I don't want to miss this appointment. Look at my email, which by the way, the freaking Wi-Fi in the internet and the doctor's office was complete trash. So I couldn't do nothing, couldn't check anything. At the latter part, uh, like right before they called my name to get my labs, the internet kicked on. So I saw that my manager was sending me emails and she needs things. I don't have my laptop. So then I said to myself, well, now I got to go home to pick up my laptop so that I can work while they're working on. I was just totally aggravated. But mind you, I <laughs> before my total aggravation level was just like not peaked, but it had risen. I go up to the front. They like, OK, well, let's check you in at the front. Go up to the front. The lady was like, your name, such and such, such and such. She called my first and my last name. And I said, yes, and I spelled my last name. Why? Because it's not, not that it's necessarily unique, but there is more than one way to spell it. So I spell a name, she said, oh, I know how to spell it, how? How, because most people don't spell their last name like I spell mine. First of all, simmer down, madam, okay? Because if anybody got any room to have an attitude, it's definitely me. It's not you. Calm down. Then she was like, <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, you supposed to come sign in. Doctor didn't say that. Oh, well, they supposed to, but the nurse didn't say that either. So again, which well, where is your energy coming from? I'm not quite sure, but I need you to take all that back. Return to sender, because I'm not here for it, madam. I'm really not trying to go there with you. I just want to get my lab so I get the hell on. So then the lab lady comes out and she was like, oh, I am so sorry. Da, 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 da. I said, I understand it's not your fault, but I am aggravated because no one said anything to me. And I had another appointment lined up right after this one that I'm now going to be late for because this whole lab situation, check-in situation wasn't properly communicated to me by anybody that I saw today. Which by the way, I saw a new doctor today, new nurse, the staff at the front desk looked new. I've been going to that doctor's office for quite some time and none of them people, with the exception of a few lab people, look familiar to me. So I need them to get it together. But anywho, that's why sis is pretty much, you know, speed racing down to the uh, to the dealership. I did call them and tell them that I was gonna be a little late, but it's 22 minutes a little late, or is that late late? Because my appointment was for one o'clock. Golly, this time it wasn't my fault, y'all. This time, it was completely out of my control. So with all that being said, I'm super thankful that it that part is over with. While I'm at the dealership, once I get my job situation squared away, because I do have some things that I have to take care of, like I told y'all, I am going to see if I can uh, schedule a dentist appointment. So that way I can go ahead and 
get them out the way or whatever um, and just get my cleaning and all I'll have to worry about there after is scheduling Bay and Zay's appointments. So yeah, y'all, you're all caught up on what has transpired since the last time I put the camera down. I am so hungry, y'all. And that's another thing, like, hangry Jenna is setting in. Like, sis is trying to peek her head, okay? And I'm trying to suppress her for as long as I can. <laughs> I am freaking starving. And I, I, don't, I just don't have time to get anything to eat. I feel like if I stop, even though I'm already late to this dealership appointment, baby, I'm not leaving up out of here till about 5, 6 o'clock. I'm not. I'm just not. So I'm not even going to do that to myself and play with these people. Uh, Okay, I had to get up out of that parking lot, y'all, because traffic is a little thicky thick. I gotta start driving before I start talking. Anywho, we're in motion now. So let me give you guys an update on what took place, or let's start with what didn't take place, okay? So for starters, no, I did not get a brand new tire replacement. No, they did not repair my tire. They took my tire off 511 times, flip smacked and rubbed it down according to them, and they can't find anything wrong with the tire. They can't find a nail, they can't find a hole, they put it in water, they sprayed it down, they did a couple other things that I can't remember, but all resulting in them not being able to find anything wrong with the tire, such as a nail, a hole, or anything like that, that I may have picked up in the tire, because we know it, it's not anything other than that, because the tires are still so new, right, right. So what they did do, was rotate my passenger tire so basically they took the back tire put it in the front to the front tire and put it in the back and my associate told me that if i should get another tire pressure notification and it's in the back then it is indeed the tire right because follow me here if you got a little lost in what i just said the front tire that was giving me the low tire pressure notification is now in the back. So if I get a low tire pressure notification and it's coming from the back passenger, that's the same tire. He said it is indeed the tire. I got thoughts on that, but I'll reserve it for the end. He said, but if you get a, if, if you get a notification of low air pressure in the front, then it was never your tire that was giving you issues. I got something to say about that. So I just reserve it. He said, but instead, it's the sensor in your tire. Uh, the digital, my car is very digitalized, okay? Yes, I drew it out, okay? And that might not even be a word, but I have a lot of feature, digital features in my vehicle, one of which lets me know what the tire pressure is and it alerts me when it's low. Those sensors are near the the uh, tire. I think it sits right behind the tire, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe that's what he said. And so if I get a notification at the front again, even though that's the rear tire that they put on there, then the sensor is thrown off and I'll have to go up there to get the sensor fixed. Hopefully that's not the case. My associate said, usually the sensors will last up to five years. I haven't even had my car five years, but I told him, honey, <laughs> I'm working on my credit. Okay, let it get a little bit better. And I'm going to be about this car. I told y'all several vlogs ago, this is, this car is um, 
the longest I, I've this is the longest I've had a car in maybe about eight or nine years. Normally, I sw I swap them out in like a year and a half, two years. I just get another car. Um, that's just you know my business, and it's not a flex. It ain't bragging. I'm just saying because I've had this car so long or longer than I've had my other cars, I'm now experiencing issues that I didn't in the past because I didn't have the car long enough to you know experience any sort of issue so a third option or a third scenario um after they have rotated the tires is that i don't get a notification that all is well in my world and i'm hoping that that's the case because if it's a sensor issue i might have to pay for that i don't know my car is still fairly new and i do still have um warranty on it so hopefully if it comes to that i don't have to pay for it but we'll see honestly y'all i'm sick of going up to the dealership i don't even want to find out if i got to pay for it or not i don't want to find out like i just I'm, I'm i just don't i'm tired okay i don't want to keep going and i told them that i was like listen it's not you okay i have two cars I brought both of my cars up here too much, okay? Husband's car, that was an oil change. Y'all know the vibes. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll put the thumbnail to that when I took his car to uh, to the dealership to get an oil change. That's basic maintenance. But my car, I'm taking my car up there three times. One for a basic oil change, and now this is the second time for the tire. I don't want to come up there no more. Why I'm seeing y'all so frequently, if I got to come up there again, somebody going to give me a portion of their paycheck. And I don't mind doing a little work, but I'm just saying, I'm up here more than some of the employees. What's the, what, what's the deal? Anyway, so that's just that on that. I'm on my way home. Uh, well, no, I'm on my way to get something to eat. I've got to put something in my stomach. I don't know what I want to eat. Once chicken, you know, default to the regular schmegula. Um, but another part of me kind of wants a burger. I don't know if I want McDonald's, if I want Chick-fil-A. If I want pizza, like, I don't know, but I gotta put something in my stomach, y'all. This is not healthy. Oh, also give you guys an update as well on work. Um, while I was at the dealership, I did have to um, update one of the wires that I sent earlier to my manager because the address had changed on the invoice and it wasn't changed in the system and that was on me. I didn't notice that they changed excuse me i did not notice that they changed the address so i just updated the address and shot her the updated wire um and support before i left the dealership so all should be well i have not checked my email since uh leaving the dealership i immediately picked you guys up but hopefully that's that on that the rest of the day with the last 30 minutes that i'm on the clock hopefully will be quiet tomorrow will hopefully be quiet but all in all, even though this day, these appointments and the people was peopling very ignorantly, okay? Primarily, I'm talking about at the doctor's office. <laughs> I feel very accomplished that I was able to get these things done. Okay. Today is Thursday, May the 25th. Happy Thursday. <laughs> it's 7.44. Today at work is going to be a very, very slow day. Um, I did payroll on Tuesday, if you guys can remember. Um, and we pretty much spent Tuesday uh, afternoon after we left work at the doctor's office and um, the dealership dealing with my tires. Just a little update on that. So far, so good. Um, I haven't had any issues, no alerts on my dash saying tire pressure low. So I'll keep you guys posted um, on how this goes hopefully there are no updates to report because if i don't get y'all update that means all is well in my world so we just gonna pray that there's no update to give I'm at the convenience store and get two energy drinks i decided to go ghost right uh they did have them two for five dollars that's the standard price um at my local convenience store two for five dollars and we got two today so <laughs> i need to stay up all right today is going to be slow and i need to stay up so the first flavor that i got is this ghost sour watermelon i've had this flavor before unfortunately the store that sells um ghosts they don't really have much of a variety. Uh, they had this flavor, the green apple, which I never tried before. So we're gonna try that together this morning. 
the sour green apple also a a warheads flavor so i'll put that one in my cup holder sorry for the bad noise and i'll put this one in my purse so that i can put it in the refrigerator at work it's cheers when I tell y'all this here water don't judge okay I really <laughs> I really want some mozzarella sticks as well and some tater tots and I'm heavily considering trying the uh Red Bull sorry that was my car the Red Bull June Berry I think it's slushy um I'm the only reason why I'm heavily considering is y'all already know the calories on um Red Bull is just so freaking disrespectful but I really want to try it since I'm here. I don't frequent Sonic too often and I'm figuring why not. I also haven't had like any cold drinks or anything like that that are uh, also high in calorie. So that's even more so why I'm like, mm, let me go ahead on in. <laughs> Hold on y'all. Can I try the uh, Red Bull Juneberry slush? Uh, have you tried it? Is it nasty? I said, have you tried it? Is it nasty? I like it. Okay, yeah, go on and make it a large girl. Yeah, make it a large? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Is ketchup in the bag? Okay. Thank you. We have got the goods and I am headed back to my parking spot. I'm gonna go ahead and go. I need to call my mom really quickly uh, just to make sure her and Asia is cool. The other day she called me like a day or two ago, she called me um, and I ended up missing her phone call. So I wanna just check, make sure that everything is cool with them. And I'll pick you guys back up once I am parked so that we can have lunch together. It took me longer than expected to get here. I have my tops. Then, child, I got stuck behind somebody getting to my parking spot. 
which is mad annoying. Here's my burger. And then I have some ranch for my tots slash um, mozzarella sticks. Did I show y'all my mozzarella sticks? Here they are. Mmm. That is so doggone good. Patties. Is this three patties, girl? No, it's two. The cheese is melted on it real good, y'all. I'm not going to be able to eat all this. It's fresh, though. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. It's fresh. I thought a number one was just a single patty. This is the second time I did this. If y'all can remember or keep up with my vlogs when I went to Papa's Barbecue and ordered, excuse me, their cheeseburger for the for, for the first time, I did not realize that it was a two meat burger. I can't eat all this beef, but baby, it looked good though, and it is. Ooh, I am smashing on this food, y'all, and I am so doggone thirsty. And I was very tempted to go ahead and try this off camera, but ain't no cap up in my wrap, so we're gonna try it together. Excuse me, here is the slushy. Cheers. Okay. Mine is a little watered down, but it definitely tastes like Juneberry uh, Red Bull. I'm looking like that because I'm trying to pick up the other flavors that are in this drink, but it tastes really good though. Mmm. This is starting to get a little brain freeze though. What's up, y'all? It is 2.05. I have my laptop here. That's where the lighting is coming from. I needed to make a last minute update to my uh, video that I posted today for you guys that went live at... 12 15 i was about to say 2 15 i don't know at 12 15 and i was just gathering up my things putting my water here i've already had a bottle of water at work already i have one at my desk that i need to drink i'm gonna drink that when i get back and then this will be my either third or fourth bottle of water of the day just depending on how i'm feeling after i drink the second and just getting rid of my trash really i'm stalling going back because i do not <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm going obviously but i do not um i ain't in no rush to go back i got some emails so i definitely have some stuff that i need to do and take care of but sis is not in like a total rush to get back anywho i wanted to give you guys um an update on my initial thoughts of this drink it i mean it's okay i don't like the aftertaste of this drink for whatever reason the aftertaste kind of gives me medicine vibes yeah it kind of gives me like medicine vibes not like robitussin medicine vibes because robitussin is disgusting if you know you know but i don't know it's just like i i don't want to go as far as to say weird i just don't like it my palate just don't like it so would i buy this again no am i mad that i spent my money to try it no um i do love the Juneberry regular red bull and i will forever buy those because they're delicious but would i get it in a slushy form from sonic absolutely not i wouldn't do this again. Yeah. this morning like i told y'all that i was 
uh, for a curbside pickup order. So I'm super excited, not just to get my groceries, but to see what kind of goodies they got in this here bag. If they still doing that, Lord willing, they still doing that. Cause I want goodies, okay? And I want them for free. So I'll be sure to show you guys once I get there, if they give me a goodie bag and what is in the goodie bag. I don't have any plans when I make it to, well, no, I'm lying. I do have plans actually when I make it to the house. I need to film a collaborative video and it's so beautiful outside. Um, I prefer to film my videos, um, my sit down videos when it's beautiful outside because the lighting be chef's kiss, okay? I sit right by the window and God in the sun just do exactly what I need them to do in terms of lighting in my front room. So I think I might be a little ambitious and go ahead on and and record that video normally if i have any collaborative videos to film i try to get those filmed early on friday or at some point on friday but if i do it today mm, sis might just have a whole free friday to herself then what is i'm gonna do? i don't know but i'll find something to do i'm just saying i won't have that to do so we might end up doing that of course i'll haul the items that um, I picked up from Sam's or ordered from Sam's today, and then we're going to cook dinner. I did uh, pick up a bag of tilapia. Um, so I too will be frying fish tonight. And then for sides, I'm going to do potato salad. Um, oh, I would love to do those grilling baked beans, but I don't have none. And oh, do I feel, I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I don't even want to create something for myself to do. I don't, dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to wing the the second side. I'm going to have to wing that because I don't have grilling beans. Sam's don't sell grilling beans. Dang, but I really want the beans, though. The beans will slap with that dog on fried fish. I already feel it in my spirit. What is up, you guys? It is 631. I am still sitting here in the parking lot of Sam's, which at this point... I'm over it. I am sick of it. My order still has not been processed despite me placing the order this morning. Uh, there is a worker right next to me putting somebody's groceries um, in the basket and I'm going to get his attention once he's done so that I can cancel the order hopefully because this here, hold on y'all because this here is ridiculous for the amount of time that I've been sitting here. Excuse me. For the amount of time I've been sitting here, y'all, I could have been, I actually, I could have been in, out, and on my way home. I prefer not to sit here anymore, so hopefully um, they can process me a refund and I'm going about my day. And then in terms of like dinner and all of that, I'll work that out, probably order something, make something easy. Excuse me. Is there any way I can cancel the order? Yeah, y'all. I just can't. I, I, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm already aggravated and annoyed. And it's not his fault. Definitely not his fault. Um, and as y'all may or may not have heard, he's new and they're short of staff. And I get all of that. I get, I get all of that. I'm understanding to that. But to be sitting here for 34 minutes and that young man that I was just talking to, I had asked him what the protocol was. Y'all know what well, if if you are a regular cousin here, okay? Y'all know that I've done the curbside pickup once before. So I'm not very familiar with how they do things and the time that it usually takes the first time that I did the curbside pick up for Sam's. It was a wonderful experience. I pulled up. I maybe was here 10 minutes, if that really. I think it was like closer to five. I mean, baby, they had it ready, okay? It was ready. And I do understand that it's not always going to be like that. But 34 minutes, y'all, 34 minutes, I could have been in and out. I could, <laughs> I could have just muscled. There are, these people are walking out y'all may be able to see them they'll come in frame i remember these people here they were they <laughs> i've been here longer than they've been here and they went in the store got their things and now they walking out and i'm still waiting on my curbside order at 635 mm -mm. okay it is 6:43, and i am driving off 
the young man just um processed my refund so i will be on the lookout for that y'all aside from me getting my refund i am still very very annoyed that i wasted close to an hour of my whole life that i can't get back just sitting here just just freaking sitting here trip is wrapped um the crowd wasn't too bad in there uh this go round i would have been out of there sooner sorry for the air you guys i do have it up so i'll try to project my voice a little bit because it is hot okay it is hot it's currently 92 degrees outside and it feels like it's about a hunt okay i am now on my way to the ups store uh, i need to drop off this package right here that's isaiah's uh amazon return i don't know if you guys can remember but the maybe one or two vlogs before this one um i had some returns that i needed to take back to amazon or return at the ups store for amazon and i forgot to print the label out for that one and ever since i print brought it back home and printed out the label i have completely forgotten all about the package so uh we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now before traffic gets even worse than it already is um, it's sticky thick out here, okay? It's looking like buku folks took off Friday and I ain't mad at it because I'm out here in these streets as well. I just was not expecting it to be as packed as it is. But once we um, once we drop off this package at UPS, we're gonna go home, do a quick haul, uh, drop off these groceries. I'm probably just gonna have to take the beltway all the way to my dad's because I, I don't think I'm gonna fool around in chance getting on the regular people freeway because baby it's gonna take me forever to get to my dad and i need to be able to see him spend a little time and head back on this side of town uh but oh a side note y'all sam's club has the grilling beans come on through somebody now granted okay throw in a little disclaimer i've never had that flavor the flavor that i had um sorry y'all i'm trying to make sure i don't get hit the flavor that i had um had onions and green peppers in them bell peppers in them and this flavor is the bourbon flavor and it has onions in it but i did check to make sure sure there were no like pork bits or anything like that bacon pieces and anything like that up in there if you're new here uh me and my family don't eat pork um and if you're not new then you already know vibes but uh i'm so excited to try those out so i have everything that i need to um make dinner tonight make the dinner that i was supposed to make yesterday uh for tonight everything would just be contingent upon time when i can make it back and whether or not i'll have enough time to cook uh before sunset so 
will play it by ear still worst case scenario um i am still going to cook but i'll probably cook a much simpler and faster meal i did get some hamburger buns so we might do like some uh hamburgers and french fries because i did pick up a bag of french fries but i'll show you guys all of the items that um i got from sam's before we head to my dad's i just wanted to check in with you guys um and let you know what our next move is i am still sipping on my um <laughs> my ghost this is the sour watermelon it's the same one that i showed y'all this morning when i was at my workstation at home it's really been carrying me through and unlike the celsius i i don't mind let me say that i, I want to make it seem like i just love it but i don't mind drinking it when it gets room temperature the flavor is still the same obviously you know it it's not as cold but um it doesn't taste disgusting or like medicine like my celsius does so it's a vibe okay it's definitely a vibe for me i absolutely love these ghosts highly highly recommend them um, okay you guys i am back i just finished up bye hi how y'all doing i just finished at the grocery store we had a bit of a situation i'll tell you guys about it when i get in the car so every week for the most part i encounter the same individuals in the deli department uh for the most part for the most part and the individuals the two individuals that i encounter are never pleasant never pleasant never a hello how are you um good to see you and i know they recognize me not that i'm anybody special but because you see me so frequently and even if i'm a first time customer you're in the customer service industry so my goodness a simple hello is free okay and it makes you look good considering that you're an employee of the company so today i had it okay i'm i stand there no acknowledgement it's her and another lady the same two they partner up together had the same funky attitude attitude same bad energy don't say nothing to you don't greet you and if they in the middle of something baby they not dare gonna say hold on one second i'll be with you they don't say that they wait till they're comfortable at a stopping point and then they'll assist you. That's why if you've ever noticed when I've gone to other stores and I visit their deli department, I know for sure I said this at Sprouts. I was like, oh yeah, the quality of the meat is really good and it doesn't take them as long to uh, you know, cut my meat and bag it up. It takes them forever, not because they are incapable and don't know what the hell they are doing because honestly, it's slicing meat. Not dissing anybody that's in the industry, but I'm just saying it's not anything that's super time consuming right um but they do they do it on daytime not on the customer's time so today i had it okay sis was helping me out in the deli department and at, at the latter part of her assisting me she was putting the meat in the bag and i said you know what i'm not doing this anymore every single week every single week i contemplate calling the manager on these two individuals every week i done brought my mama to the store and they still give the same energy my mom was even looking like what's the problem if i got to tell you on more than a few occasions when i encounter you hello can i get some help that's a problem for you not for me because whether they whether you're there or not they replace you or not i'm still gonna stop i'm still gonna shop at this store when i feel like it so really you should want to straighten up for you right so anyway i had enough in the lady face i'm calling the uh the, the store i call the store i say can i speak to the store manager um and they're like yeah sure so by then while i'm on hold waiting on the store manager <clears throat> um i walk uh, uh, she hands me my meat so i walk up to the front i stand up at the front uh where the customer service is waiting to hear the store manager lo and behold the store manager picks up the phone and she's right behind me so i said uh i hang up the phone i said excuse me ma'am i was the individual on the other line asking to speak to the store manager she said yes ma'am how can i help you super friendly super nice lady customer service on 10 hey hey ma'am i'm not gonna call your name for discreet purposes but hey if you come across this video uh and i appreciate you so very much and and no i don't think those two individuals are a reflection of you or your store just to be clear 
Um, but I talked to her, you know, basically let her know this is a weekly issue. Uh, it's not just me. I've seen her do it with other customers, so on and so forth. Seen them do it with other customers. So it's a dynamic duo, okay? Of bad customer service, bad energy, bad vibes, okay? Bad attitudes, okay? Hashtag bad. Anyway, anyway now I'm just being silly. So I'm explaining to the store manager like every single week I'm contemplating whether or not I want to form f file a complaint against these women because it's it supersedes just having a bad day or a bad week this is the vibe that they give in every single week and if I'm coming here for the most part every single week and I'm spending my money I need better service I deserve better service not just me anybody then I proceeded to tell the manager I was like ma'am and I vlog I'm in here every day and I vlog. Sis said, oh, okay, I know what that means. I know what that means. She was like, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go over there right now. Da -da 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 -da. This, that, and the fourth. And, and let me just throw out a disclaimer. I'm not saying I vlog to make it seem like I'm somebody super big and important, even though I am somebody important. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm somebody important, and so are you, 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 and you in the bag. But I said that to say, I come in here every week with a camera in my hand, and I never told the store manager how many supporters I have. I could have had two, I could have had 10, I could have had 10 billion. But the fact that the matter is, is that I come here every single week to not only patronize this store, but to also share my experience with my family members here on YouTube. So they gotta do better for, for no, no other sake than the fact that I'm gonna say something. If my, if my experience is bad, y'all know this, if my experience is bad, customer service bad, something tastes bad, it look bad, I'm gonna say that. Because that's what my channel is about, honesty and transparency. So she was, you know, apologized profusely. She said she was going over there. I had a couple other things that I needed to get. So that gave her time to uh, address a couple of the other managers. Lo and behold, the general manager was in the store too. So he got wind of it. And all I want, all I want is an attitude adjustment or new reps. I hate for anybody to lose their job, but in a society, in an economy where folks is out there really looking to, to find a job, to provide for their families that would have no problem with good customer service, y'all got to get up out of there. If you can't change it, y'all got to get up out of there because you're going to eventually run into somebody that's not as professional, that's not as nice, that's not as cool, calm, and collected, and it's going to let you continuously try them every single week because I, the, I let these people try me every single week because I understand the importance of temperance and patience, but at a point, things have to get addressed. And after letting so much time pass and allowing the behavior to continue on for so long, today was the day. Today was the day. So again, shout out to the manager and I'm addressing her because she asked me what my channel name was. I told her she said she was gonna subscribe. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your um, support, not just on my YouTube channel because that's secondary, but as a customer, I felt like you really, you know, were in tuned and cared about my concern at your store. So I appreciate that. So yeah, you guys, that's what took place at at the doggone grocery store. Oh, and I do also want to mention um, that the manager gave me five dollars off of my uh, my entire purchase. <clears throat> so I appreciate that as well. Again, you didn't have to do that. So thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. I really, really do. And um, I'm praying, you know, that next time I go into the store, because there will be a next time that. Um, I don't encounter those things because the next time I see you, Miss Manager Ma'am, is what I'm gonna call you uh, to protect your name and your privacy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely want to see you on better terms and interact with you on better terms. But anywho, that's just that on that. It is currently 2:17. The day is ticking away. Okay, I mean, I just need a little bit of time. I just need a little bit of the time to stand still, baby. The day is moving. Okay. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make it to see my dad. I'm really, 
really going to try it's gonna look like a scene fresh out of fast and furious if i try to make it see my daddy because he is literally on the other side of the continent i mean not really i'm reaching but he's pretty far Whew. okay you guys sorry if i sound like i'm out of breath i literally just finished taking all of this stuff from the car to the house and setting it up for y'all so please bear with me but let's get into it i have some hamburger buns let me flip it around from sarah lee here i also have some mrs baird's bread some tilapia a large bag of the orida golden crinkle cut fries a five pound is it five pound i think it's eight y'all let me see uh 10 pound, I'm sorry, okay. A 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. I have a couple bags of chips here, flaming Hot Doritos, Spicy Nacho Doritos. And then I reviewed the Smart Food uh, Doritos Cool Ranch popcorn on my channel before, so I had to run it back when I saw it in Sam's. I have a couple of cold, cases of cold drink, one Sun Kiss, one Canadian Dry. And then I also got some Welch's uh, juice. This is the same variety pack that we usually get, honestly, because it's the only Welch's variety pack <laughs> that Sam sells. We ran out of trash bags, so I picked up some more. This is the 90 bags of he uh, hefty trash bags. And these were on sale, I believe, for either $13 or $15. And this lasts us a very, very long time. So it's a good buy for my household. The star of the haul is these bushes best i didn't did they change their name it used to be bush's beans child okay but you know what the way that them last beans had me feeling we gonna roll with bush's best okay baby because the last cans i had was the best okay and that's just on period in my opinion so i picked up this grilling beans bourbon and brown sugar it is vegetarian just in the event you guys are wondering and has simmered diced onions so i'll keep you guys posted on how i like those I also got some always pads. I don't typically purchase these, but the they only had the shorter ones. Um, they didn't have the thin, longer ones. So I just picked these up, child, um, just for the sake of having them. And then I also got some laundry detergent because we were out. Two bags of the Caesar salad kits. I have my pallets of water here at the door for no other reason aside from the fact that I do not have any energy to move them. They'll be waiting on Paul or Isaiah. A few items that I picked up from the grocery store. I did get four Celsius. They were on sale, buy three, get one free. So I got two of the Fiji apple pear, one tropical vibes and one strawberry guava. And then y'all know the vibes. I went and picked up some of this honey maple turkey breast for sandwiches. And these are the items that I picked up from the grocery store. It is 4.43. I am on my way to see my dad. I should be about 15, 20 minutes um, away from where he is. Traffic hasn't been too bad to God be the glory, but babe, this other side, the way I gotta take the go home has been crazy so i'm gonna have to figure something out laura willing by the time um i'm ready to make my way back home the uh traffic will have died down because man i ain't gonna never get there it's gonna be about midnight before i make it up home i mean that's a reach but i'm just saying it's gonna take me a highway minute if the traffic is still looking how it's looking um right now when it's time for me to leave later on i think i might stop and get something to eat when i get closer because yet again In two miles, keep left onto State Highway 146 okay, North toward Baytown. This is cramping. Sorry, that was my navigation. Um, and I needed to take some ibuprofen. I feel much better now. So praise God for that. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let you know we are on the road to see Dad. I am super excited. My dad is at my aunt's house. Um, and I'm really excited to see my aunt. I can't even tell y'all 
when the last time I saw her. And hopefully I can see uh, my uncles or uncle as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm speaking specifically about my dad's brothers because I know my aunt's husband uh, will likely be there. So hopefully I'll get an opportunity to see him. Hello, hello, hello. Long time, no talk. It is 8.56, so hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your evening slash night. I've been home for about 45 minutes to an hour. I cooked me and Zay burgers. We haven't eaten yet. And I also made us some fries as well. Um, I didn't cook Bay dinner because he picked up a roast beef sandwich for himself. This is what he felt like eating. So he'll have that for dinner with some chips. And me and Zay, like I said, will have burgers and fries. I just wanted to come and give you guys a little update on today. Absolutely beautiful. I really um, enjoyed I spending time with my dad, my stepmom, Uncle Eddie. I also saw my dad's sister, my aunt judy and her husband my uncle donald and we just kind of sat outside vibe the weather was beautiful the wind was blowing the mosquitoes were biting but it's okay i took one for the team and uh enjoyed my visit with my family and then on the way out uh we spent maybe about an hour hour and a half there with my dad um and then on the way out i stopped by my mom's uh, sister's house and was able to see her and my uncle which is her husband I also saw my cousin and uh, one of my cousin's sons my other Troy my other uncle I was about to say my other Troy but his name is Troy my other uncle which is my mom's brother uh, my uncle Troy and just kind of sat there and vibe with them for a little bit as well um and it also was like dual purpose because the traffic that time that i spent at my mom's sister's house allowed the traffic to die down so it was kind of smooth sailing on the way back um but overall i had a really really good day and even though i felt like i was just running around with like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get all of these things done so that i could see my family it was all worth it in the end again we had a fantastic time now i am in wind down mode i'm gonna eat my dinner make isaiah's plate um and then i'm also just gonna take a shower and likely go to sleep because i'm low-key exhausted shout out to my stepmom my mom uh for gifting us with a whole lot of goodies uh they're staying at my aunt pat's house while they're here so the next time we see dad again will be on monday which i think is like memorial day labor day something like that uh but she made pecan candy and gave us pelican flags and gave zay all sorts of saints and pelicans memorabilia if you're unfamiliar uh the pelicans is the name of the basketball team out there in new orleans and she gave me perfume and lotion oh let me show y'all this is the perfume yeah and body lotion that my stepmom or my mom um gave to me super super excited about it i love when she gives me fragrances i have three um so far that she have given me and i rotate them out um quite often because it just kind of gives me you know like that sense of home and it reminds me of her so i really really enjoy when she gives me fragrances so i will add this to my mama collection or whatever this is what the bottle looks like really cute definitely asian inspired um i think it's called haiku if i'm not mistaken y'all leave me some comments down below if i'm tripping and that ain't really what it's called let me see oh that kind of smells good hello <laughs> oh i really like that mm. okay mama yes we definitely gonna spray ourselves down with this when we get out of the shower that smells really really good again not to mention the bottle is really cute as well so that's gonna that's going to look very cute on my um 
my perfume stand and this is the matching lotion it's bright so sorry if you guys can barely see it but the packaging is really really cute and she got both of these items from avon yes my stepmama my mama i call her my mom i just keep calling her my stepmom for you guys' sake so that you know who i'm talking about but my mama um, she is a avon lady and baby i definitely reap the benefits okay that smells super good can't wait to put this on tonight with all of that being said this concludes the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you stuck with me for this long and this is your first time joining us hit the subscribe button to join the family and hit that post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads and i will see you guys in the next Make a move on. Bye. Bye.